Hello everybody and welcome to a video with Plasma1945 here talking about getting as much performance as possible out of your VR setup. Uh, this is really directed to everybody who flies high performance video games uh, which do require as much memory as possible and I came through these trials and tribulations as I was trying to get uh, DCS uh, world going on a 3060 Ti and was trying to get as much FPS as I could. The 3060 Ti comes with 8 gigabytes of RAM and on some cards you'll still get 6, 10, 12, in some cases 16, but you will have a RAM limit. Any card that's under 10, 12, 16 gigs of RAM, this will make a huge difference for you. So first off, uh, make sure you get FPS VR. It's a $3 application. It's well worth it. It works through Steam. It comes as part of uh, Steam Store and it's secure, it's tested, and it's great. It'll show you all kinds of interesting stuff because what it will do is it'll show you memory and CPU usage, which is absolutely essential for figuring out um, what your computer is really doing. So it'll show you your average FPS, your top FPS. It'll also show you your um, GPU temperature memory usage as well as your CPU uh, memory usage and uh, CPU performance showing individual cores. So FPS VR is a must. The next thing to look at here is memory usage. As you can see, I'm at 6.6 .6 gigabytes out of 24 gigs. Now, I have no games running right now. All I have is Steam VR up and running and Mixed Reality Portal. Here's the thing. If you're running an 8 gigabyte card, you're going to be hitting your limits here. So what do we do to get rid of this? Well, all the stuff that is loaded here, all the Steam VR stuff here, it's using up your memory. So most important thing to do is to get rid of that. To, to do that, open up Steam VR, go under settings, go under general and get rid of Steam VR home. You do not need that, get rid of that. Personally, I disable motion smoothing and I set my custom resolution, but you can do that depending on your card. I do get rid of motion smoothing because for a 30 series video card, that is usually not required. Under video settings, I've got super sample filtering off overlay render quality is set to low because I don't really care about how my steam VR overlay looks like it's a utility um, render resolution custom motion smoothing off and then you can set your settings as required within the resolutions so first things first that I did here again general tab uh, steam VR home is off. As soon as I removed Steam VR Home, my GPU memory dropped from 6.2 gigs to 4.7. So that is a huge saver on your memory. And remember, the actual Steam application has to keep that in memory as you're playing, totally wasting your performance. All right, next thing is let's uh, look at the Windows Mixed Reality world. Now, Windows Mixed Reality will load up your Windows Mixed Reality house. Let's go back to the let's go back to Windows Mixed Reality Home. Now here's the other thing. This Windows Mixed Reality Home is continuously loading up your memory as well. Because it has to load up all the rooms, it has to load up all the views and everything else. So there's a couple of things to do here. Um, first things first, if you go into your settings, you'll be able to change the resolutions of the preview windows. So if we go under settings, let's swing this across here. So I clicked on settings and this came up. So in here, um, what I do is uh, I change my headset display to 720p. This is only in the preview. So you really don't need to care about that. Same thing here, you can go low. This is visual quality of my home. Bring that down all the way down. Uh, resolution of the headset, leave that alone. Um, if possible frame rate if your headset is set to 90 Hertz leave it at 90 Hertz um, all kinds of other stuff not really key but crank these down low in 720 that's your first step this lowers the resolution that is used now the next thing is this home uses up a crap ton of memory and I really do mean crap ton of memory so what we want to do is we want to get rid of the home to do this, you get an application called SkySpaces. So let me pull that up here. SkySpaces is a fairly lightweight app. You download it once. 
it's on the App Store with Microsoft, so yeah, I want to run it anyway. I want to install it. You can download it through multiple methods, multiple ways. I'm just going to install Skyspaces and create shortcut, and boom, there's Skyspaces. It's now installed. Now, what Skyspaces allows me to do is it allows me to replace my home, which has to load anyway, with something more simpler. So we can actually see our home here with all the stuff that's loaded. I think we're at about uh, 4.7, 4.5 gigs of memory usage. What I do is I go get the empty room in the Skyspaces application. So after you've installed Skyspaces, open it up, click empty room and hit install. It'll download and it'll install into your mixed reality world. There's other rooms you can load up, but uh, look at the size of it. It's two megabytes in size. All the other ones are 70, 80, and 200 megabytes. So the bigger the room that you're sitting in, the more memory uses. I don't care. This is a loading place. I don't need to have stuff on the walls. I don't need anything to look fancy. I don't need any statues around. So empty room, install. Once it's installed, this thing will turn to say uninstall. So just it's installed. All right. Now, the question is, will it actually show up here? So I'm going to hit the Windows Mixed Reality button and click under Places. Unfortunately, all I have is my Skyloft or I have my house. And that's because you actually need to restart your Mixed Reality in order for this to come up. So let's do that. So after you've installed Skyspaces and you've installed a room, you got to restart your Windows Mixed Reality. So let's do that right now. I'm going to shut down Windows Mixed Reality. Goodbye. So sorry to see you go. Let's bring it back up again. All right, Mixed Reality Portal is back up and running. Okay, so we're back in our Mixed Reality environment. There it is. It's beautiful. I don't care because I just want performance. So what I'm going to go is I'm going to go places. And the little arrow appears here. So if the empty room doesn't show up, just click on the arrow. All right, so let's go back up. Click on empty room. Click to launch. This is going to get ugly. But again, do we really care? I absolutely don't care. And now this will be your default loading space for mixed reality. So now I'm going to go back into Steam and look at FPS VR. So we went from a total of 6.6 .6 gigabytes of memory used by the Steam VR house and mixed reality house. And now we are way less down to like 3.2, 3.7 gigs. Now, how cool is that? We went from 6 to 3.6 .6 gigs. And that's by getting rid of all those extra rooms and places that we're loading up. You have recovered a lot of memory that just sits there being completely wasted by just being pretty environments. If you're like myself and you like to jump into a DCS world plane and fly around, this memory is crucial and makes all the difference for me. Hopefully you've liked this video. It's helpful. I uh, haven't talked too long and make sure you subscribe to the channel like this video, share it, and fly safe. This is Plasma1945, signing off.